Hey guys and welcome back to Best Car Picks. Porsche has revealed the third generation version of its Panamera luxury sedan and confirmed it will be arriving in late in the first quarter of 2024. At launch there will only be two Porsche Panamera variants offered locally. The Panamera and Panamera Turbo E Hybrid. A Porsche spokesperson has confirmed there will be more Panamera variants coming after the local launch, although they couldn't say what these are exactly. It's worth noting there are four plug-in hybrid e-hybrid Panamera variants offered globally. The entry-level Porsche Panamera continues to be powered by a 2.9-liter turbocharged V6 engine, though it now produces 260 kilowatts of power and 500 newton meters of torque. This is up 17 kilowatts and 50 newton meters from the outgoing model. Porsche claims it has modified the boost pressure fuel injection flow and ignition timing to optimize the performance of this turbocharged v6 engine the panamera can do the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in 5.1 seconds and flat out you'll be doing 272 km per hour the new porsche panamera turbo e hybrid on the other hand is a new plug-in hybrid variant in the lineup it's powered by a fundamentally revised 4.0 liter turbocharged v8 engine with a newly developed 140 kilowatts electric motor that's now integrated into the comprehensively redesigned 8-speed pdk dual clutch automatic transmission total system outputs for the panamera turbo e hybrid are 500 kilowatts and 930 newton meters this is technically down 14 kilowatts and up 60 newton meters from the outgoing turbo se hybrid porsche claims the panamera turbo e hybrid can do the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in 3.2 seconds and flat out you'll be doing 315 kilometers per hour the turbo e hybrid also receives a larger 25.9 kilowatt hours battery pack up 7 kilowatt hours from the previous generation model which can be charged in 2 hours and 39 minutes when plugged into an 11 kilowatts AC charger. The new generation Porsche Panamera measures in at 5,052 mm long, 1,937 mm wide and 1,423 mm tall. This is virtually identical to the outgoing model. At the front there's an additional air intake above the number plate that's claimed to be able to compensate for the increased air requirement of the drive systems. There's also a redesigned window line, as well as number of other subtle design tweaks. The Panamera Turbo E Hybrid in particular picks up a distinctive rear apron with a painted diffuser panel and a unique front apron in body color. There are also chrome-plated exhaust tips and optional center lock wheels available. There's turbinite on the recently redesigned Porsche crest on the bonnet, side window strips and turbo badge on the tailgate. It also features on the central rev counter in the instrument cluster and on the controls in the center console. Inside, the design of the new Panamera borrows heavily from the new KN and Taycan. The tech-laden interior puts the driver experience at center of what Porsche calls the perfect balance between analog and digital elements. The steering wheel now features a drive mode selector and the small gear selector has been moved to sit beside the steering wheel on the dash. A tilted center console combines digital and physical climate controls, which sit below new finless air vents that need to be adjusted using the touchscreen, and above a more spacious underarm storage space. A screen-heavy interior is made up of a 12.6-inch, curved, freestanding driver instrument cluster behind the steering wheel, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system. A 10.9-inch passenger display is optional, as is a head-up display. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe for more such interesting content. Thank you for watching.